friends, I am back where I literally always start my vlogs. <laughs> I feel like I just begin here and I talk the whole time. Um, so it has been officially a week since my husband's birthday party. We had so much fun. I literally, I think I might have showed you guys. I had a bruise like this big on my knee the next day and I didn't even know I had it. Um, I fell down at one point, like literally I was like walking with a friend and we like hit these doors really hard and we thought they were like shut and they weren't and so we both like went tumbling to the ground. But it was really funny. We had a lot of fun. Usually I'm not like a drink to get drunk person. I'm like a drinking wine here and there person. <laughs> But it was my husband's birthday. We wanted to have fun and fun we did have. So uh, it was really cool. But I wanted to share because I know that last time I was on here, I opened like the shoes up that I had got like from the post guy I've delivered them or whatever. And then I got some skincare. And so I like hate it when people are like, I'll let you know how I feel about this. And then they never say anything about it again. So I'm literally wearing... <laughs> The tennis shoes as we speak they are on a 25% off sale I don't know if they'll still be on sale when I post this video on Monday it's currently like Friday um, they possibly will be because they've been off on a 20% sale for like a week now so I couldn't imagine them going up to 25% and then changing um, they're also on a buy one get one so I'll link both of the shoes in the description bar below these are hands down the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire existence and I want to buy them in every color, even though I know I would probably never wear any of the other colors that they have. Like, why would I ever wear bright blue to the shoes? Probably wouldn't, but I want them. Um, also, the Green Envy products. I, oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. So, I realized that I was breaking out because I was touching my face. So, I had been, like, doing this number. And so, that's why I had, like, literally, I had breakouts from, like, here to here. And then I stopped doing that because I was like, oh, you're touching your face. And so I found myself constantly doing this number. So now I'm covered in breakouts here. Finally, I have like all that had to basically sit on my hands when I'm working. But this has actually helped a ton. It's the HA Collagen Boosting Serum. Green Envy gave me a 10% off discount. I'll link it in the description bar below. This stuff is kind of expensive. But I mean it when I say this. And I take what I say very seriously about my skincare. I will never go without this ever again. It is a like collagen boosting. So literally like you put it on and you just notice like over time your my face has more of like a plump feel. And I feel like when I say that people are like, eh. It doesn't feel like uneven. It kind of glows. It looks healthier. And so if you, need, if you don't have any collagen in your life, this is good. I have tried drinking it, like the collagen peptides. <laughs> I'm a super taster. So people are like, oh, it doesn't. You can't taste it. I taste everything. So. Also, I'm rambling a lot here. This slouchy H&M bag. I wanted to do an H&M unboxing, but I got it and I was too excited. So I just have to show it to you now. This is an H&M bag. I got it for $17 on sale. I hope it's still on sale. I hope it's still in stock when I post this video. I'll link it in the description bar. Their bags, when they go on sale, go so fast. And I don't know why, but I've been loving. I had the Vince Camuto bag, and it was kind of slouchy. And I've been loving that lately. I don't know why. Like, I did the structured bag thing for a while. This is an H&M bag, very structured. I've had this for probably like two years, so it's wrinkling slightly, but you can see like they're both H&M. This bag is still in like really good condition. So I liked the structured bag situation for a while, but I'm not into it anymore. So I'm really excited about this one. You guys should get it. It literally holds so much stuff. And then one more thing. I know you guys like it when I share those Louis Vuitton dupes. So when I purchased this wallet, I had no idea that Katie Roach had actually recommended this wallet to people. And after she recommended it, because she's such a big blogger, um, like her and the person actually collabed, I guess, um, to create Daisy Rose by Katie Roach products. I'll link all of them in the description bar below. Like they even have made a Louis Vuitton Neverfull dupe. It sells out in three minutes. I am not kidding. I like people check Amazon constantly. As soon as she posts it, it goes live. It sells out. So you can't really find that one, but I purchased this. Can we talk about it? It's a makeup bag 
And I had literally just purchased this Target one. I think the Target one, so it's a little smaller. I talked about it in another vlog. But it's a little smaller, but I think it's only like $15. This one was like $24, $26. And it's like a vegan leather, so it's made really well. It's got the Daisy Rose and Katie Roach tag in it. Um, it doesn't have any like little compartments once you get inside, but it is like super huge. Like I don't know, I don't know why I felt the need to just show you that, but like I could literally stack two wallets inside of there. That's how big this thing is. So I absolutely love it. If you love the Louis Vuitton dupes, this is definitely something to get because the quality of these, like I have had this wallet. I thought it was since October. It's since September and it literally still looks brand new. The zipper is amazing. Like. People ask me all the time, oh, I love your Louis wallet. And I'm like, it's not a Louis wallet. And then they're like, okay, so where'd you get it? Because I need one now. And I'm like, yes, you do. So, cute. Wanted to just share some of those things with you guys. <sighs> I have to run to Costco. I need to get wine. I need to get cat litter. I need to get all kinds of crap. Got to go to Lidl. Got to go to PetSmart. I just like, I don't like running around with a chicken. My head got off today. So... So I guess I will try and bring you guys along with me. I always say that and then I forget because I suck, but we'll get there eventually. Also, also tell me, have you guys done your taxes yet? I did mine this week. I feel really efficient because I got it done and now we just wait for the return. So, all right, I gotta go. I gotta quit talking. I gotta get moving. Let's go. Hello everyone. So I just, um, Finished up doing a friend's makeup, and I have got to get some serious blog and YouTube stuff done today. That is not my side of the bed. Um, so I figured I was gonna bring you guys along for it, but it's just like so much to do that I'm not sure I'll have time. So I wish I could, but I'm gonna bring you guys along right now because I have to like really bad. I have to clean my makeup brushes. I haven't done it in a few weeks. And honestly, they're all just kind of like a little gross. Um, I always like to clean my makeup brushes. I'd say like every, I used to do it like every three months. I've tried to get better about it. I've tried to start cleaning them every month or so it's been about six weeks at this point so what I'm going to do is I'm using my Sigma products um, they sent me a like they sent me some their Sigmagic brush shampoo foam and then their Sigmagic brush shampoo just like the liquid a few months back for a um, Instagram takeover and it was super fun to do, but they sent me this like huge, pro I mean, and obviously they knew, but they were sending me this huge product to do for one quick video. So I am so excited that I have it because it's like really good brush cleaner. And last time I cleaned all of my brushes, it maybe took maybe an hour. Anybody who has a crap to make brushes, like you know what a pain it can be to clean your makeup brushes. So they also sent me this little cute thing. I'll link that all in the description bar below for you guys because it's really cool if you have a lot of makeup brushes. So I think it's like you connect, how is it that you do this? You connect this. So it's like you put the brush here and then it comes up and feeds through. Let me show you. So you almost take the brush and you do like this and then it just like holds the bristles of the brush in place. Now that's not supposed to keep them dry the whole time. Like whenever I did that last time, the brushes still came out damp, but it keeps the brush like shape for a while until it gets dry enough so your brushes don't like lose shape. And then it's got this top little piece just to have like other random little like eye brushes, but it's so cute. So I just figured I'd bring you guys along Oh, and then they also sent me this. It's the Sigmatic Sigma Spa Express Brush Cleaning Mat. That is the hardest thing to say. And so it's got all these different little areas for wash eyes, refine, wash face. It's adorable. So let's get to moving. Okay, 
so that is over with now. It didn't take too terribly long because I ended up, I um, washed a lot of the brushes together because I just did not have time. Like, I have a lot of makeup brushes. I did not have time to just like sit there and go through each individual brush, which probably isn't the best. But, I mean, our makeup brushes. Not the end of the world. Okay. Also, I brought in, I don't know if I, I don't think I shared it. I also used the Sigmagic Scrub, this one. So this is really cool. So it has this thing when you buy it. It comes like this, and it's got like the little soap within these little bristles. And so you literally just take your brush and like brush it all on there really quick. And then it like has the soap in there for you. It does it for you. So this is kind of a cheaper alternative um, if you don't want to use the whole like brush matte and all that stuff but I definitely recommend the brush matte if you have a lot of brushes and if you are like into makeup more. So now I'm just going to um, put some of the brushes into this cool little thing. Oh, I'm so tired. I always get so tired on Sundays. Does anybody else feel like that? Anyway, the whole purpose, I wanted to do a little chitty chat with you guys. Catch you up on life. Let you know what's going on. Um, so, ew, that still has like soap in it. So, here lately, um, blog has been going really good. YouTube has been going really good. Been getting some more <laughs> hate comments about my southern accent. I don't know why people feel the need to like bring attention to things that like annoy them about a person on the internet that they've never met, but I mean, you know, to each its own. So I feel like I need to make it clear. <laughs> My jeans just got caught on the thing. Holy jeans for life. I feel like I need to make it clear. You guys know like I erase hate comments or anything like that. So I got this really rude comment that was like, you think it's so cute that you fake that accent? No, no, no. Guys. I've literally heard things about my accent my entire life. Like, people have always asked, like, I think I get a lot of questions like, where are you from? And I get a lot of, you sound like you're from the Midwest. I don't, I've only been there one time. I kind of see what they were talking about, but I mean, I don't think I sound like I'm from the Midwest. I don't know. Um, my Southern accent goes in and out based on how quick I'm talking. And if I'm like angry, it gets a lot worse if I'm mad. Uh, just things like that. But I mean, I don't know why people feel the need to bring attention to it. The reason why is because I grew up, I live like in the country. And I grew up in, I guess what you would consider the city part of where I live. And so I didn't grow up around people who had like southern accents. And then I started public school in fifth grade and that was the first time I was exposed to like southern speakers I dated a guy who was really really southern for about a year in high school and like that's kind of when I got this southern accent so although I've been around people now for years who have these southern accents that is why it's affecting my accent more and like if I talk slow I have more of an accent than I do I'm talking fast or whatever. So I just felt the need to make that clear, but I just thought it was funny that people were like talking crap about my accent. Like, why does it bother you? Really? Just don't watch if it bothers you. But so life catch up. I have been working from home a little bit more lately. Um, I think that's been kind of obvious. I just we had a sales rep leave the um office, like a girl I used to work with. Uh, she left the company in December and she went to work for a competitor. So in doing that, you know, you can't let somebody who's going to work for a competitor continue to work for you. So she didn't get a notice. So we like had no time to prepare. So I literally went from having like someone who I could talk to every day, someone in the office with me to no one. And so I've been working from home. I, there, I mean, there is a sales rep at our office, but she primarily works from home as well. So I just said, you know what, I'm not gonna come um, each day and sit for eight hours 
by myself in an office. It is miserable, especially when you have a personality like mine that it's just like the most like ridiculous thing to do is sit in an office for eight hours and have nobody to speak to. So I've been working from home more and I really do like it because at least if I'm alone, I have my dogs, which is good because I cannot stand to like not have anybody or anything around. So that's been kind of fun. Um, so I don't know. I've just had a few people like questioning that because they've been noticing, at least on my Instagram stories, people have been like, you're home a lot. Why? Um, cause I'll like snap or something and you can see that like I'm clearly at my house or I'm with my animals. So yes, I am working from home more. It's not a permanent thing. It'll just be until we can get somebody else in the office that I can talk to because it's miserable being by myself, but I don't know. I mean, it's fun. I like it. I definitely think I could work from home as long as I had like a devoted day that I had to leave and go to the office. Um, it's like working from home full time. That's intense so just wanted to kind of let those few questions be answered good morning friends so I'm about to start work for the day I'm at home obviously um, but I just wanted to finish out this vlog because I know that I like suck at that so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to go below click the subscribe button if you're new here I'm so tired <laughs> and I'll see you guys next week